Hello. In this short tutorial, we'll look at how to make a visual prototype or mock-up for the layout of a website using Pencil Project. Pencil Project is a cross-platform GUI or graphic user interface prototyping and sketching tool, and it's based on the Mozilla Firefox platform. Now, the benefits of making a prototype are that it provides the client and other team members with an idea of what the layout will look like, it's fast to make, it's easy to adjust and change the design from any feedback you gather, and also to create the prototype, you can do so without any coding. So let's get started, and first we'll go and find Pencil Project. Now, if you go to their website, uh, you can either do a search for Pe Pencil Project, or you can go to their website, pencil.evolvers.vn, and you can go ahead and download either the Windows version, or if you are using Mac or Linux, you can click uh, Other Downloads and download those as well. Uh, the November 28, uh, 2012 version is 2.0. Point three. Uh, you might want to get this one, or if there's a, an updated one since I've done this video. So you can go ahead, uh, download this version, and install it, which I've already done. And here it is opened up. This is the default page when you open it up. So we'll have a quick look at what Pencil Project looks like. Uh, you can see you have an untitled page in the main part of your screen. On the left you have a whole bunch of different elements. So I'm going to scroll down through these so you can see them. Uh, you've got some basic web elements, desktop elements, uh, and there's some various types. I'll come back to this in a moment. Uh, and you've got some flowchart elements so you can use this for designing flowcharts. They've got some uh, mobile phone uh, GUIs, so Android phone there, and here we have the iOS for Apple. Um, some buttons and things like that. So I'm going to just scroll all the way back to the beginning. So the first thing we really need to do is to save our project um, rather than an uh, untitled one. Um, so I'm just going to um, save it and uh, I'm going to save it as, uh, as a layout. So I've saved my project. Um, now we've got untitled pages. We can have multiple pages. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to use the one page just to show you how uh, this works. Now the first thing we really need to do is to set up the size of the page. Now I'm doing a web layout for a, a web design, so I want to have uh, a size that is going to be right for a, a web design. So I'm going to right click in the middle of the document and uh, I'm going to go to Properties. I could go to Resize Canvas, but I'm going to go to Properties. Uh, and here I can actually change the, the page title. I'm going to say Web Page Layout. Uh, and I can pick the, the page size. Now I'm going to go for the normal web page size, which is 1024 by 768 pixels. All these sizes are in pixels. And it's got a different type of background. I'm just going to keep the transparent background, the default setting, and hit apply. So it's resized it to uh, the size that I want. And you can see I actually have to scroll to zoom in and out. So I'm just going to click on this little minus uh, sign up here to zoom uh, zoom out so it fits in the page. Okay, and that fits almost fits in the page. I'm going to click it one more time. There we go. So it fits into the page. Uh, so that's my, my basic page or document. Now, for this uh, layout, it's just going to be a rough layout. I want it to um, people who see it to know that this is not the final web page. It's a, a, a design of the layout. So I'm actually going to scroll down through here to find a sketchy looking uh, graphic user interface. Now, uh, the third or fourth one down is the desktop sketchy GUI. And all of these elements have a sketchy look to them. So they look like they're hand-drawn. They obviously don't look like a finished website. And this will give the impression that this is just a prototype. This is a design um, in the making. I'm going to scroll down. The first thing I'm going to look at is I'm just going to give it a Windows frame, just to make it look like it's actually in a Windows. Um, and this will be the first element I add. All I need to do is uh, click on it with my mouse, drag it over, and drop it onto the window pane. Uh, so there we have um, the, the Windows frame. Now I can resize it just by gr grabbing these little blue um, anchors here, these 
but uh, what I really need to do um, to resize it, uh, the easy way to do it is to actually go up into this here, location and size. Now these are all in pixels, so this makes it really easy for us to align things uh, to actually pixel perfect size. So I'm going to go for the width first of all. Um, and you'll notice if I hover over these, um, it just pops up saying what it is. So that's width, that's height, this one here, top, and from the left. So I'm going to make it um, the size that I actually want, which is going to be exactly the size of um, my page. So it actually fits inside the page exactly. Okay, and if I do that, um, I could have just gone location zero zero, and it would have dropped it right in. Um, and that makes it fit nicely in there. Okay, um, that will do. Now the, the problem with uh, having this as in the background is every time I drop something else on, I might accidentally grab it and drag it, drag it. Um, so I need to lock this in place. So to lock something, if you right click and you go locked, you can actually lock it so now you can't drag it. Now before I do that I really want to um, rename it. At the moment it says Windows Title so I'm just going to unlock it. Okay, So I just go right click and just go unlock. Double click in there and I can say page oops, layout 1. Okay, Just so it's got a title. Um, I'm going to lock it. Go ahead and lock it again. So there we go. That's um, the page with a window on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, an area that the web, uh, the main website is going to be in. So for this I'm actually going to scroll all the way back up the top of these elements and go and pick a pane, just a very simple pane. And I'm going to drag this and drop it in here. There we go. Now this one is going to be the size of my web page. My web page width is going to be a standard 960 wide. So I'm just going to go ahead and go 960, and there's the width, and I can just go and line it up in here. Now you'll notice, you see that little line that pops up? Um, it allows me to center things, so that's actually at the center of the document, which is great. And this time I can just go and drag it down and drop it in at the bottom there. Okay, brilliant. Now it's a little bit light, I'm not sure if you can see the difference in light gray and white. I'm going to make it slightly darker so it shows up a bit better. So I can just go to Properties, and if you go to the Properties, you can change lots of things, the border, the text, the style. Um, you can put HTML hex codes in here for colors. I'm just going to make it a slightly darker color so that we can see it as so it stands out. Okay, so that's going to be my main page. Now I'm going to go ahead and lock that one as well. So now I can't grab either of these. It makes it a lot easier.